I'm Jamie Latour, and if you want to be a good swimmer, here's where to find the complete Zora armor set in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now the first piece of the Zora armor set is pretty easy to find since it's necessary to complete one of the main story quests, Sidon of the Zora, and reach the Water Temple. Once you've spoken with Sidon at Mipha Court up on Ploymus Mountain, a lot of funny words there, return to the Zora Domain and head to the infirmary to speak to his fiance Yona. Uh, before you do that though, make sure to at least activate the Ihina Shrine nearby to give you a fast travel point to get back up here easily. It's not a bad idea to run through that shrine too, since it will give you a bit of a tutorial on how to use the hover stones scattered around the Water Temple. Speak with Yona, and she'll tell you that she was tasked with repairing the Zora armor. But to finish the job, she needs an ancient Arowana fish. If you happen to already have one, great, you're done. But if you need one, it can be found in the fountain up this way from Mipha's court. Give the fish to Yona and she'll give you the Zora armor, allowing you to swim up waterfalls. Now that part's pretty straightforward as it's part of a main story quest, but you're probably wondering where the rest of the Zora set is. Well, the side quest to retrieve the helm and the greaves can't be activated until you complete the Sidon of the Zora main quest, which involves completing the Water Temple. If you happen to need help with that, we just put up a video, so make sure to check that out in the description below or the card above. Now, assuming you've completed the Water Temple, you can now talk to Yona, who will start a side quest about getting you the Zora Greaves. However, she can't give you the Zora Greaves because she ain't got them. She'll tell you that their last known location was within the ancient Zora Waterworks, which is located in the East Reservoir over here on the map. It's where that giant pillar of light was before. Head back to that spot and dive into the giant whirlpool down here, continue on, and if you speak to the Zora that's in here, he'll tell you that the water seems to have disappeared. Go down into the now drained waterworks, and you should find a hole that you can fall down into. In this new area, there's a stone talus that you can either avoid or fight if you want to get some sweet ore, and a stone talus heart that you can fuse to a weapon to make it all nice and strong. Then, go behind the waterfall that was behind the stone talus to find a chest containing your new Zora Greaves. To find the final piece of the set, the Zora Helm, head to the throne room, and in the Zora Domain on the left side, you'll find Chroma and Kira. Kira is lecturing Chroma about failing to find the Zora Helm, which is said to be located within a giant skyfish. Hmm, wonder where that is. Sure enough, that's a location you've been to before. Floating Scales Island, up in the sky. Fast travel to a henna shrine, and then you can take the waterfall that's close by up to Floating Scales Island, provided that you're wearing the Zora armor. When you get up here, head to the back of the island, which is essentially the fish's tail. Look over the ledge on the right side to see an opening that you can glide down into. So do that, and then head all the way to the back to find a chest containing the Zora Helm, which completes the Zora set and lets you do a fun little spin attack in the water. Look at that. And when you wear the full Zora set, it will increase your swimming speed which will be handy for those days on the beach. For more Tears of the Kingdom news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.